a Japanese method to raise creative kids. Japanese people are known for their intelligence, politeness, and wellness. Why is this nation so unique and different from the rest of the world? It seems we found the answer. They have an incredibly cool education system and unique teaching methods. Watch till the end, there's a small but brilliant bonus for you. Let's start with a unique Japanese method in the schools for developing creativity in kids we believe that the whole world needs to adopt. It's called Nameless Paints. Japanese designers named Yasuki Imai and Ayami Moteki created an unusual set to teach kids colors and painting. This fantastic set won the 2012 Kokuyo Design Award. Let's see how it works. Nameless Paints includes 10 tubes that don't have color names, such as yellow, blue, or green. Instead, there are only spots of a particular color or colors on each tube. As you can see, the spots are also different sizes. The designer's aim is to change the way kids think and learn. They want children to understand what shade they will get if they mix certain colors. For instance, a child looks at the tube with two spots, pink and blue. He doesn't know what color hides inside. He squeezes the tube and gets purple color. So, as a result, the kid learns that the same amounts of pink and blue paints create purple. Here's another example, a tube with a big blue spot and a small pink one. It means if you mix a small amount of the pink color and a large amount of the blue color, you'll get dark blue color. Interesting, right? As you can see, each tube hides a particular color inside. Pink, yellow, blue, purple, red, dark green, dark blue, orange, light green, and black. However, to get one of these shades, the child should think about which colors create it. As a result, they learn how to create new colors and how to mix them. It's an easy and fun way to understand the color theory. Recent studies have shown that free thinking is an attribute that a person can acquire over time, and the schools play the most important part in developing creativity. Now, here's the bonus. 10 brilliant features of the Japanese education system the whole world needs to adopt. The success of the Japanese culture is very simple. They put a lot of effort and time in the education system, trying to make it not only useful, but also fun. 1. Manners before knowledge In Japanese schools, students don't take any exams until they reach grade 4, the age of 10. The goal for the first three years of school is not to judge the child's knowledge, but to establish good manners and to develop their character. Children are taught to respect other people and to be gentle with animals and nature. They also learn how to be generous, compassionate, and empathetic. Besides this, the kids are taught qualities like grit, self-control, and justice. 2. The academic year starts on April 1st. While most schools in the world begin their academic year in September or October, in Japan it is April that marks the start of the academic and business calendar. The first day of school often coincides with one of the most beautiful natural phenomena, the time of cherry blossom. The academic year is divided into three trimesters, April 1st till July 20th, September 1st till December 26th, and January 7th till March 25th. Japanese students get six weeks of holidays during the summer. They also have two-week breaks in winter and spring. 3. Students clean the school themselves. In Japanese schools, students have to clean the classrooms, cafeterias, and even toilets all by themselves. Most Japanese schools do not employ janitors or custodians. When cleaning, students are divided into small groups and assign tasks that they rotate throughout the year. The Japanese education system believes that requiring students to clean up after themselves teaches them to work in a team and help each other. Besides, spending their own time and effort sweeping, mopping, and wiping makes kids respect their work and the work of others. 4. School lunch is provided on a standardized menu. 
the Japanese education system does its best to ensure that the students eat healthy and balanced meals. In public elementary and junior high school, the lunch for students is cooked according to a standardized menu, developed not only by qualified chefs, but also by healthcare professionals. All classmates eat in their classroom together with the teacher. This helps build positive teacher-student relations. Five, after-school workshops are very popular. To get into a good junior high school, most Japanese students enter a preparatory school or attend private after-school workshops. The classes in these schools are held in the evenings. Seeing groups of small kids returning from their extracurricular courses late in the evening is common in Japan. Japanese students have an eight-hour school day, but apart from that, they study, even during the holidays and on weekends. It's no wonder that the students in this country almost never repeat grades, primary, lower secondary, or secondary school. Six, students learn Japanese calligraphy and poetry. Japanese calligraphy, or shoto, involves dipping a bamboo brush in ink and using it to write hieroglyphs on rice paper. For Japanese people, shoto is an art that is no less popular than traditional painting. Haiku, on the other hand, is a form of poetry that uses simple expressions to convey deep emotions to readers. Both classes teach children to respect their culture and centuries-old traditions. 7. Students have to wear a school uniform. Almost all junior high schools require their students to wear school uniforms. While some schools have their attire, traditional Japanese school uniform consists of a military style for boys and a sailor outfit for girls. The uniform policy is intended to remove social barriers among students and get them into a working mood. Besides, wearing school uniforms helps to promote a sense of community among the children. 8. The school attendance rate is about 99.99%. Probably all of us have played truant at least once in our life. However, Japanese students don't skip classes, nor do they arrive late for school. Moreover, around 91% of pupils in Japan reported that they never, or only in some classes, ignored what the teacher lectured. How many countries can boast such statistics? 9. A single test decides the students' futures. At the end of high school, Japanese students have to take an exam that determines their future. A student can choose one college they would like to go to, and that college has a particular score requirement. If a student doesn't reach that score, they probably don't go to college. The competition is very high. Only 76% of school graduates continue their education after high school. It's no wonder that the period of preparation for entrance to higher education institutions is nicknamed Examination Hell. 10. College years are the best holidays in life. Having gone through examination hell, Japanese students usually take a little break. In this country, college is often considered the best years of a person's life. Sometimes, Japanese people call this period a vacation before work. Now, what is the education system like in your country? And what would an ideal education system look like? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.